Welcome to the Dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with an exclusive and explosive backstage update as it concerns WrestleMania 31, the plans, the strategy, potential match card, and more. Now, according to the Backstage Insider, membership required. Go check them out. Go subscribe to them. Go tell them Sean's View Entertainment sent you premium newsletter here. WWE is already piecing together the top matches and storylines for the show of shows, WrestleMania 31. It's interesting to note that CM Punk's name was thrown around at a recent creative meeting concerning WrestleMania 31, but we're not looking too much into that at this time. Furthermore, a recent WrestleMania 31 poster leaked with The Rock featured on it. So there is many who assume The Rock will play some sort of a role at WrestleMania 31, but it may not, it may not necessarily be a match, even if it was just a small role. However, there is a strong feeling that WWE really wants Stone Cold Steve Austin back for one last in-ring in return against John Cena. As a matter of fact, in one of Austin's podcasts with Cena, Cena tried talking Austin into a match for the big event. But as Austin always says, it has to be the right match, money, and storyline, saying it would have to be worth his while, and it has to make sense. All the stars have to align correctly, as Austin so richly <laughs> admits to every single time that is brought up. Furthermore, if Austin is not able to compete in that match at WrestleMania 31, there is rumors that WWE is thinking of a plan B and C for Cena. A match that was originally rumored for WrestleMania 30 being Triple H versus John Cena before the WWE hit the reset button, before CM Punk left the company, before the WWE went scrambling looking for other ideas and matches and scenarios. It looks like the Triple H versus John Cena match would get pushed for WrestleMania 31, which would have a major angle surrounding it. The authority still going to be around by then. They're still going to be challenging. They're still going to be putting detours in front of John Cena, still overcoming the odds, so to speak. Who knows what that storyline is going to be of, but we all know every time Triple H and John Cena are in the ring, it's magic. It's been well documented that Triple H always wanted to have that one-on-one -on -one rematch at a WrestleMania versus John Cena. Next up, UFC's Ronda Rousey could also make a huge impact for WrestleMania 31, but it's too early to tell what the WWE would have penciled in for her. As far as The Undertaker, in a match at WrestleMania 31 goes, the failing is that Taker's body would not be able to withstand one more match for 2015, seeing how rough shape The Undertaker was in this year and just getting through the match. WWE is also hoping that Kurt Angle, and there's been a lot of rumors and speculation about his TNA future and when he'll sign a contract and if he'll go back to TNA. WWE is hoping that Kurt Angle will somehow, someway end up back in the company and finish his, his career up by having a retirement match at WrestleMania. And finally, as concerns the main event, the main attraction of WrestleMania 31, ladies and gentlemen, WWE is tossing around many ideas as concerns WrestleMania 31's main events, which would either see Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton are all three Shield members in a triple threat match. As always, plans can change between now and then, but WWE at least has a strategy going into next year's WrestleMania, albeit if there's not injuries or walkouts or releases or what have you. So ladies and gentlemen, this is huge. I mean, this is ginormous. I mean, the WWE already mapping out huge plans and storylines and scenarios, and already this is shaping up to be one hell of an extravaganza, one hell of a WrestleMania. Just reading about it and, and hearing about it and seeing the plans unfold, it's given me chills, it's given me goosebumps. I cannot wait to see the final product and exactly what WrestleMania 31 will be about. Remember, it is supposed to be one of the most interactive WrestleManias of all time. And I would not... I, I tell you what, I, I, I would definitely be satisfied with this. I mean, if this is just a few matches that are being talked about, I mean, how long have we, how long have we been wanting to see Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar? Or how about Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar? Uh, Ronda Rousey, The Undertaker, Stone Cold. I mean, there's all these elements. There's all these different things that could happen come the night. What about the Hall of Fame class? What's that going to look like? Who's going to be inducted? Ladies and gentlemen, obviously, you know, once again, this is not penciled in. It's not concrete. But at least it's a strategy, and at least there's some kind of plan and plot being thought about months in advance. And sometimes that can be a good idea, 
but when plans change, that could also be a bad idea. Remember when Triple H was supposed to face CM Punk at WrestleMania 30, and CM Punk walked out in the company, and that made the WWE force its hand in having to change the entire game. So that could happen for WrestleMania 31, although I hope it doesn't. I know the WWE is looking for a huge increase in subscribers to the WWE Network. Who knows if the WWE Network will still be around come WrestleMania 31. There's a lot of questions, there's a lot of elements, there's a lot of mystery that's going to go with the WrestleMania 31. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe.